Hello, kiddo. Sir E is here, and today let's talk about percent composition of a compound. <laughs> In my previous video, we talk about molar mass. If you haven't watched the video yet, you may pause this, then watch it first so that you can understand what molar mass is and how to compute for it because you're going to apply that for our lesson on percent composition. So what is percent composition? Percent composition expresses the mass of each element per 100 mass units of a compound. And for us to determine this, we use this formula. Percent composition is equal to the total mass of component element divided by total molar mass of the compound times 100. For us to visualize and to grasp how to use this formula, let's have this example. What is the percent composition of elements in H2O? Let's express our final answer in two decimal places. We have several steps to follow. Step number one, compute for the molar mass of the compound, which in this case is H2O or water. And what we have learned from the previous video or lesson we come up with this. In H2O, we have two hydrogen multiplied by the atomic mass, which can be found in the periodic table. Same goes with oxygen. Then, let's total their atomic masses. So therefore, the molar mass of the H2O is 18.02. It means... One mole of H2O is equal to 18.02 grams. After computing for the molar mass, let's proceed to step number two. In here, we will apply now the formula for percent composition. And we will start with the hydrogen component. In this case, we will divide step number two in several parts. And part A will be, write the number of atoms of the element present in the compound. As we check the chemical formula of water, which is H2O, we know that we have two hydrogen here. So it is also equal to two moles. Then, step B, multiply it with its atomic mass. So you may get your periodic table to check the atomic mass of hydrogen. And so, it's 1.01 gram per mole. Again, you have to consider the rule set by your teacher in terms of the number of decimal places applied in the atomic mass. Because in this case, I have two decimal places. But for others, they use whole number. Step C, divide the product by the molar mass of the compound. So we already computed for the molar mass, and that is 18.02 grams. And lastly, we will multiply the quotient by 100. You may pause the video, get your calculator, and apply the following operation. And the answer is... You got it right. Hydrogen is equal to 11.21%. Let's proceed to the second element, which is oxygen. Same thing, we will apply all the following steps. Write down the atoms of the element present in the compound. So we have one mole of oxygen. Then multiply it with its atomic mass, 16 grams per mole, which again, you can get from the periodic table of elements. 
Then, divide the product by the molar mass of the compound. So, it is 18.02 grams. Then, times 100. What is the result? You got it right. The answer is 88.79%. And when we add the percentage of hydrogen and oxygen, our result is... 100%. So the total composition should be equal to 100%. To further understand this, let's proceed to example number two. This time, we will compute for the percent composition of all the elements of glucose. And the formula for glucose is C6H12O6. So again, step number one, Compute for the molar mass of the compound. So we will list down the number of atoms and multiply it with their respective atomic masses. For carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Then add them up to get the molar mass of glucose. So the molar mass of glucose is 180.18. Let's have step number two. Let's apply now the percent composition formula. So again, step A, write the number of atoms of the element. So we got six for carbon. Multiply it by 12.01 grams. Then let's use the molar mass of this compound, which is 180.18 grams. Then multiply by 100. Then multiply by 100. And so the result for carbon is 39.99%. How about for hydrogen? Based on the formula, we have 12 moles of hydrogen. And its atomic mass is 1.01 grams per mole and divided by 180.18 gram, which is the molar mass of glucose, then times it by 100. What is your answer? You got it right. It is 6.72%. And lastly, oxygen. Based on the formula, we have 6 mole of oxygen. Multiply it with its atomic mass, 16 grams per mole, and then divide it by 180.18 grams, which is the molar mass of glucose. Then times 100, and the result is, you are correct, 53.28%. This time, let us add all these percentages to check our answers. And the result is 99.99%. Oh, sir, it is not equal to 100. Does it mean that my answer is wrong? This is still acceptable because it is due to the rounding off that we applied. And we are done. I hope you understand how to compute for percent composition. Watch my next video on how to compute for the empirical formula and molecular formula of a compound. See you again in my next teach blog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>